Wait, what just happened? The Exynos 2600, the chip we all thought was dead in the water, is now looking like a serious contender. Yeah, I know. You're thinking, Exynos, competitive? Come on. But new benchmark data just dropped, and let me tell you, it's changing everything. For years, Samsung's Exynos chips have been, well, kind of a joke. They've lagged behind Qualcomm, struggled with heat, and left users frustrated. But now, out of nowhere, Exynos is back, and this time, it's not playing around. So here's the story. Earlier Geekbench 6 scores for the Exynos 2600 painted a pretty grim picture. Just 2400 in single core and 9400 in multi core. Respectable? Maybe. But in a world where Snapdragon and MediaTek are pushing crazy numbers, that wasn't enough. And the verdict from the tech world? Exynos is once again falling short. But here's the catch. Those numbers? They were based on outdated assumptions, specifically a 10% yield rate on Samsung's 2NM production. That's not... Now, fast forward to today. Thanks to a reliable leak from Tipster at or XDA, we've got corrected benchmarks that tell a very different story. And here's where it gets juicy. With a more accurate 40% yield, matching what Samsung's 2 nanometer GAA process is actually capable of, the Exynos 2600 suddenly looks like a real beast. Check these numbers. 2,950 single core, 10,200 multi-core. That's not just an upgrade, that's a resurrection. Let's put that into perspective. The upcoming Snapdragon 8 Elite 2 and MediaTek Dimensity 9500, both on 3 nanometers, are expected to hit around 4,000 single core and around 11,000 multi core. Yeah, they're still ahead, but the gap is narrowing fast. What once looked like a huge performance chasm is now more like a manageable hill. And this isn't just about numbers, this is about momentum. Because Samsung's been under pressure, its chip division has taken hit after hit, losing public trust, falling behind TSMC, and failing to win over fans. But the Exynos 2600? If these benchmarks hold true, it could be the comeback story we've all been waiting for. Why does this matter? Because Samsung isn't just making chips, it's also building phones. And the Galaxy S26 series, expected in 2026, might launch exclusively with the Exynos 2600 in several regions. This means millions of users could be using Samsung's in-house silicon again. And if the chip's performance matches or even nears Snapdragon levels in real-world use, that changes the game. No more dual-chip confusion, no more Snapdragon or bust in the comments. Samsung takes control of its own destiny. But hey, let's not get ahead of ourselves. CPU scores are just one part of the story. What about GPU performance? What about power efficiency? What about thermal throttling and heat dissipation? All of that will determine whether the Exynos 2600 is just a paper tiger or the real deal. Still, this is a big moment. This correction in benchmark scores it's a massive vote of confidence in Samsung's foundry capabilities, and it's proof that the 2 nanometer GAA process is finally coming into its own. So, here we are, a chip we all counted out, a company struggling to keep up, now pushing back with fire in its eyes. The Exynos 2600 isn't just alive, it's ready for war. And if it keeps climbing like this, 2025 and 2026 could be the years Samsung reclaims its throne, not just as a smartphone king, but as a chip-making powerhouse. Stay tuned, because the next round of the Silicon War is just getting started, and this time, Exynos came to fight.